88 degrees, high humidity, but partly cloudy skies after a stormy morning and clouds throughout the afternoon. Perfect evening for the Colonels to try and pick up their fifth road win in their last six games. And you know how hard it is to win games away from your home ballpark in the Southland Conference or any other conference in the country. Nichols took two out of three against Lamar. They came back and won at Southeastern and a victory last Saturday against the University of New Orleans put the Colonels in position to win Seth Thibodeau's 200th game of his managerial career on Sunday. What a Mother's Day it was for Nichols. The Colonels could finish as high as fourth or as low as ninth, depending on how these next three games shape out. Tyler Gray, junior ace, will start the game with a fastball and have it bunted up the third baseline foul by Gavin Webby. A one two to Webby, comebacker off the glove of Gray. It rolls to short, but Ballesteri won't have a play at first. It's an infield single to open the game for Gavin Webby. Two two to Knopf, grounder towards second, advancing to third is Webby, backhanded by Sanchez, but the throw is high. It gets past Strong. Webby comes home. Knopf remains at first. One nothing Nichols on an error by the best defensive team in the Southland Conference. Cole Stapler, last start in regular season play in his Colonel career. 0-2 from Stapler, taken on the corner for a called third strike. Cole Stapler dealing as he comes up with his first K of the day against Jansen McCurdy. 3-2 pitch, it's on the way and it's a blow by. Strike three on a fastball that takes care of Aguilar. Second strike out of the inning for Cole Stapler. Getting ahead of these UCA hitters. It has been a key cog in Stapler's success this season. Continuing tonight, 0-1 to Ballesteri. Goes opposite field to right. Smith charging, dives, reaches down and comes up with another remarkable grab. This is a young, up and coming UCA team. Only three seniors and only one of them plays. First year with the program for Sanchez and he'll take a called third strike on a fastball on the corner. Third strike out of the first two innings for Stapler and a one, two, three second inning. The old one pitch is hit hard to left center field and Ethan Valdez has a leadoff single to open up the third inning. Ethan Valdez at second. A one-two count to Joey Morales, and the changeup is grounded to third. Backhanded, but over the glove of Aguilar. It'll bring home the second run, and why stop it first if you can get to second for Joey Morales? Two-nothing Nichols on an RBI double by the Colonel Junior shortstop. Seven hits for the Colonels, one for UCA, a two-nothing lead for Nichols, and Ethan Valdez is four for his last five. Wind in the pits, Valdez fly ball to right field, has some distance, McCurdy positions himself. Smith's ready to tag, catch is made, Smith comes home and the ball is cut off at second as Nichols takes a three nothing lead. The one two from Stapler, breaking ball for a cold third strike, five strikeouts in three and a third innings for Cole Stapler. Stapler going outside on a 1-1 pitch, getting a chop to first, bad bounce. Knopf is ready, gloves it and steps on the bag just before the ball slice foul. Two down following a strikeout and a ground out from Rigo Aguilar. Bear Stadium has been the home of UCA baseball since 2009. The Colonels have only played 15 games in the lifeline of their program in this park. 3-2 from Stapler, strike three, and caught looking for the second time today as a bear hitter. Six strikeouts in the day for Stapler, and his third straight 1-2-3 inning. Nichols has a three-run lead after four innings from Conway. No hits, no runs, none left aboard for Central Arkansas. Cole Stapler is the story of the night for the Nichols State University Colonels. Colonel scored a run in the first, run in the third, run in the fourth. The 0 2 pitch to Sanchez for strikeout number eight. Fastball tailed out of the zone. Sanchez is 0 for 2 with two Ks. Back to back strikeouts after giving up a leadoff walk to open the fifth inning for Cole Stapler. The 0 2 from Stapler. Check swing in the dirt for strike three. Ninth strike out of the game. Presley commits. And that's at least one strikeout in every single inning for Stapler. is right foot on the back right of the rubber. One ball, no strikes. 
pitch from Stapler. Line drive towards second. Valdez is ready on one hop. Gives it to Morales, who turns the four, six, three double play. And the inning ends on another great move between Morales and Valdez. Cole Stapler, six shutout innings intact in his final start of his Colonel career on the road. The defense between Valdez and Morales, it's just automatic. It was a hard hit ball, took a tough bounce. Valdez was ready. The 0-2, he smokes it into left field for a two-strike leadoff single to open up the seventh. Ethan Valdez, a 12-game hitting streak and hits in five of his last six at-bats. And even though he got off to a slow start in his sophomore year, he's now batting 250. And who's to say by the end of this weekend that he won't be in that 260-270 range? First pitch to Gavin Webb. He turns on it, crushes to right, back, back, and gone! Gavin Webby. It took until his 53rd game of his junior season, but his first home run of the year makes it 5-0 Nichols. Valdez touches home for the second time tonight, and Gavin Webby's second hit extinguishes the ninth for Tyler Gray. Sanchez will reach out and touch the edge of home plate with his bat. Barehanded approach, no gloves. Left-handed hitting second baseman with runners on first and second. No balls, two strikes, two outs. A look to second for Stapler. One more look, now he sets, pitches, gets a grounder, up the mound, it's off of his hand, reaching his Morales, and he's there to make the play. Cole Stapler will face the nine, one, and two hitters for Central Arkansas. Stapler goes with a fastball, it's a high pop-up on a bunt, and Alex Tucker covers at home plate for a one-pitch, one-out sequence to start off the eighth. Nine strikeouts, two walks in the game for Stapler. Base is empty, three balls, two strikes. McCurdy sets, waits, and takes a call third strike for a new career high. Ten strikeouts for Stapler, eight scoreless innings of work, and a 5-0 lead in the first of three games at UCA. We head to the ninth from Bear Stadium. All Cole Stapler all the time from Conway, Arkansas tonight. Hunter Strong, Rigo Aguilar, and Justin McCarty. Three, four, five hitters for UCA. Step in against Cole Stapler. His 105th pitch of the game is a fly ball to short right center field. Justin Holt just came in as a replacement in center, and he makes the catch. The one two pitch, ground ball towards second. No problem for Valdez. Scoops, throws, and has the second out. Moment of truth time for Cole Stapler. One pitch away from the Colonel's 15th win in Southland Conference play in 28 tries. Colonels in position for their fifth road win in their last six Southland Conference games. Two balls, two strikes, two outs in the ninth. Pitch from Stapler, line to Valdez, and it's over. A great diving grab by Ethan Valdez to preserve a complete game shutout. And the first shutout of Cole Stapler's career comes in the final start of his regular season career with the Colonels. 10 strikeouts, no runs allowed, and nine innings of work. Nichols and UCA are now tied. The Colonels are up to 29 wins on the year. They're 29 and 25 on the season and 15 and 13 in SLC play.